Well, this was an appalling breach of trust. This was at the murder scene, of course, uh, the murder of Biba Henry and Nicole Smallman in June of last year. They've been out celebrating Biba's birthday in Fryant Country Park in northwest London, also celebrating the partial lifting of the COVID-19 lockdown at that time. And they were stabbed to death by Daniel Hussein, who you'll remember last week was sentenced to life in prison for that crime. Uh, today we've had two police officers who should have been guarding the crime scene who have today pleaded guilty to taking selfies off the women's bodies, posting those selfies on the WhatsApp messaging group to uh, friends of theirs, including some police officers and some civilians. Uh, those to one former police officer, Dennis Jaffer, and his colleague, PC Jamie Lewis, will face sentencing uh, in December for this crime. As they left court, they were released on bail today. We tried to speak to them. I tried uh, to get an apology. The most I got uh, was a nod of the head. Let's take a look at uh, their reaction as they left the Old Bailey. What have you got to say to the family? Can you tell us why you did it? Do you apologise to the family? You do. Would you like to say it vocally? Well, of course, the latest incident involving Metropolitan Police officers, another shameful episode, obviously, uh, as far as the Metropolitan Police is concerned. It's been reeling from a series of recent incidents and pile pressure on the Metropolitan Police Commissioner Cressida Dick, who has faced a number of calls for her resignation. Well, today that call came from Mina Smallman, the mother of the two murdered women, who said that normally she would not advocate calling for someone's head to go, for them to resign. She would rather that they stay in office, but because of the way in which the Metropolitan Police conducted itself throughout this whole episode, she now believes that it is time for the Metropolitan Police Commissioner to be accountable. This is what she told me and other reporters on the steps of the court. I've always said keep her in a position, get her to do the job. You don't want someone coming in, going from the very beginning and saying, well, nothing's happened yet because I've had to reflect on pre previous practice. However, her shoddy way of behaving and her responses since all of this has come out, you'll remember she came out about the selfies and said, if this is true, then it is appalling. Well, she knows it's true. She hasn't gone on camera. She hasn't contacted us to say, I'm really sorry. She has not spoken into this story at all. And it's shameful. And this is referring to the missing persons. It's shameful that the IOPC had to tell the Met that they should apologize to us for, in their failings of the missing persons. Too little. Well, Mina Smallman there uh, went on to say uh, that uh, she believed that it was time for those in a position of responsibility, including the Met Commissioner, uh, to carry the can in this instance. Now, uh, Cressida Dick has issued a statement, uh, the Metropolitan Police uh, issuing that statement about an hour ago, and in that, the Commissioner says, what well, former PC Jaffer and PC Lewis chose to do that day was utterly unprofessional, disrespectful and deeply insensitive. I know that it is the view of colleagues across the Met who utterly condemn this behaviour and she goes on to say they have pleaded guilty today to a serious criminal offence and sentencing will follow in due course. I apologise to Biba and Nicole's family in June last year and on behalf of the Met I apologise again today, not addressing though directly the call from Mina Smallman with regard uh, to her uh, carrying the can and effectively uh, stepping down.